Hello everyone, my name is Mary Beth Woodall and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I would love it if you guys could click that subscribe button down below to become an official part of the Marionette family. And let's just go ahead and start the video. So for today's video, I thought I would do 11 tips and tricks for starting a YouTube channel. Now, I started my channel in 2014, I believe. I'll put like a little thing right there of when I actually started, but I think I started in 2014. So I just kind of wanted to come on here and so it's now 2017. So in those three, in these three, the last three years, I have definitely learned some tips and tricks for starting a YouTube channel and I know I'm not the most successful person, but just to start a YouTube channel and grow success right my current subscriber count I'll put it like right here I think it's like 612 or something but that is my current subscri subscriber count and I've definitely learned picked up some tips and tricks along the way and so I just kind of wanted to share them with you so my first tip for starting a YouTube channel is do not get in don't get into YouTube for the money when you first start off and it's those you know what, I'm at, I've been doing this for three years now, and I'm only at 612 subscribers. So, when you first get into it, it you're not going to make money right away. And if you're getting into YouTube for the money, then you're not really doing it for the right reasons. Because the main part, to be, the main, I think the main reason why people start YouTube is because they see that it's so popular and stuff and they want to be a part of that and they think that they'll just zoom right off the bat and you know what for some people that's true but for others it takes time to kind of increase and grow so my, that brings us to the second part so one big thing of being a youtuber is realizing that numbers don't matter we all want those views we we all want like a million subscribers we all want those views we all we all want to make those viral videos that maybe will go viral will go viral also excuse my appearance i don't have makeup on and some of those these videos will go viral but others you know what they won't do as well and you need and like it sucks it really does suck seeing like a video that you worked so hard on not do as well as other another video like a vlog or something but you just need to realize that some people don't really like those types of videos and other people may enjoy vlogs more than they like beauty videos or they may enjoy beauty video vlogs more than, or the, and the other way around. So I think that's the most important thing to know is that it takes time for these things to happen and some t and it works really well in some people's favors. They'll take off right immediately. They'll take off running, but others, they'll get a slower start. But I think we all need to realize that one day we will have our moment and we will have our time our, our time in the sun. So yeah. So my third tip is do it for the right reasons. If you're starting a YouTube channel, like I said, because you think you're going to make a ton of money and you're going to have all these subscribers and views and stuff, then you're really not doing it for the right reasons. I think one of the main component, another one of the main components about being a YouTuber is that to just have fun with it. Let your creativity shine and honestly, the... I think when I first started, I got into it for the wrong reasons because I saw pe everybody, people being so successful online and I was like, you know what, I don't really like them and I learned over the years that that is not the case at all, that you need to be your, that you should be your own person and yeah. So tip number four is make content that makes you happy. If you are making beauty videos but you don't like makeup at all, your viewers are going to see that throughout your personality, that you really don't like making these those types of videos. So when you make those types of videos, but your personality really isn't coming out, I think that it really affects your viewers because they see that, know that that's not really your passion. So yes. And they see that. So make, just make sure you get into it for the right reasons and yeah. So number five is it takes time. It takes time to grow a channel. It takes time to edit and film videos. It takes time to upload those videos. 
I know that a four minute video took me the other day about half an hour to just export it to my computer and then when you're trying to upload it to YouTube, YouTube can kind of be finicky and not really like your the uploads. So yeah, just re know that it takes time and that YouTube is a big commitment so that, so if you know that you're, I mean, you could do whatever you want, but like if you know that you're busy with sports and school and stuff already and you're crunched for time already, maybe wait until your life is like a little less, little less busy to start YouTube, but honestly, do whatever you want. You guys are your own person, so yeah. Number six, and this one was a hard one for, is hard for everyone to deal with. It's just ignore the hate. People are going to hate and people are going to be mean and people are going to judge. And honestly, I think that, not that they're jealous, but there's deep rooted issues in some people. And like bullies, some bullies are bullies because of their home life so they not may not be happy in life and that is why they hate on you and I think that the main important thing is that if you know that it makes you happy and it it brings you joy to do YouTube videos or whatever it may be then you should just ignore the hate and I know that's a hard thing to do but I promise you guys once you guys get past the hate and ignoring the hate, you guys will feel so much better. And honestly, there's been times when I've been like, should I should I quit? Should I keep going? And my subscribers is what really makes me motivated to do this. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing. And without you guys, I don't know where I'd be in my life right now. So... Number seven is don't care what I, about what others think. And this is one I'm still dealing with because I think to myself all the time, I don't tell people, don't really tell people that I have a channel. So none of my friends at school know that I have a channel and it's really hard for me to tell them that because I don't want to be <laughs> made fun of at school because in this world right now, it's really cruel and when people see other people putting themselves on, out on the internet, it's... It's really hard for them to understand the concept of this person putting themselves out there. If you guys met me in person and actually went to school with me, you uh, you guys would know that I'm such an introvert and such a shy person. I, be I barely never talk in class and I just stay focused and get my work done. And YouTube is a platform for me where I can just show my personality and show who I am and show what I love to do but it's so hard for me to tell people that you know I have a YouTube channel because I don't want to be made fun of but at the same time is I'm coming to realize this is that I can't care what other people think everybody's gonna everybody hates stuff in life everybody likes stuff in life that's just how life works and I think if you care what other people think about you you are going you're not gonna keep your channel you're not gonna keep it started and it's not going to be your full personality coming out. So number eight is be original. We all want to make those popular videos. Trust me, I've done it before. We all want to, we all, oh, by the way, I'm wearing a shirt. We all want to make that popular vi video that's going to go viral. And yeah, popular videos do get a lot of views. And I understand that. But keep you, try to keep, if you... Try to keep your videos original, and that's really hard because of how many influencers there are on the on the internet right now. It is really hard to be original because chances are somebody's do you have idea you think of? Chances are somebody's already made that video, and I understand that. So be original with your personality. Be original with who you are, and I'm trying to learn this too. Let your personality shine through because honestly, people are going to love the personality that you have and we're all, like I, like I keep saying, we're all going to have those haters, but people are going to love who you are and they're just going to treat you with such kindness and respect and you give what you get in life or you get what you give in life. So if you're hating on people all the time, chances are you're going to get hate back, but if you're very nice, but if you're really nice to people chances are they're going to be nice to you in return. So yeah. So nine, 
Number nine, we only have two more left. That was four. We only have two more left, but number nine is think it over. YouTube is a big platform and the internet is a big platform. And so I think people just need to think it over rather than just watch one video and be like, oh my goodness, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I think you need to think it, people need to think it over. Trust me, when I started YouTube, I didn't know how big of a thing it was. I thought it was just like people filmed a video and then press upload. But now like getting into it, I realized that to make a very good video, to, I mean not all videos, not all great videos are edited, but to kind of cut things out that you maybe don't want in there, it takes time to edit. So think it over when people, when you say you want to start a YouTube video, a YouTube channel, just think it over and if it's still what you want to do, then great, start a YouTube channel. But if you think, you thought it over and you realize that maybe it's not the best decision, I wouldn't start a YouTube channel. My num number 10 is be creative and have fun. I think most, I think a lot of people just think that you, a lot of people have YouTube as a job and I think the main thing that some of these videos lack is them just having fun and I think having fun in your videos is such an important thing to do because it just, it lets your viewers come into your life and yes I agree, some, some things, some, some things should be kept private and personal but other things you should just let go and be creative with your videos like edit them very edit them really coolly how you you know what edit them how you think you would want want to watch and number 11 is be resourceful i'm i have a camera i'm filming on my iphone right now and i'm using this there's a light above but you know what use what you have you don't need to buy, go out and buy these expensive DSLR cameras and stuff like that to make a good video. You don't need to have the highest editing software to make a good video. You don't need all these things. Honestly, when I started my YouTube channel, I used iMovie to edit. And as I've progressed throughout my YouTube career, I loved I love editing. And I think that's the part that a lot of people hate. They like filming, but I realized <coughs> <coughs> But I realized that I like editing more than filming. So I've invested in, and honestly you guys, my editing software is $70 or $80. And I've invested that money because I love editing. And I love the experiences I get to have. So yeah, those are my tips and tricks for starting a YouTube channel or for just having a YouTube cha channel in general. I think that YouTube right now, people are... I think in the world right now it's just such a negative place. The world is just not just, uh, the world is just such a negative place right now, and I think having a having a platform like YouTube and the internet and stuff is really helping people to come out of their shells and be positive. And again, you're always gonna get those like drama channels that try that are trying to like be like this person starting drama with this person, but in reality, and we all watch those channels. But I think if you are just original and have fun and be creative, then honestly, you can. You guys are going to have an amazing time. And in the comments b below, let's start a... Um, if you guys have a channel, let me know down in the comments down below. And we can just start a subscribe, subscribe and watch videos. Thing. <laughs> that didn't come out right but in the comments down below let's start supporting each other and having fun and just getting to know each other because I really want the family the marionette family to just have fun together so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos and I'll talk to you my loves next time bye guys